Hey, what's going on guys? It's Prime here. Today I'm bringing you some Battlefield 1 beta gameplay. So this gameplay is just a compilation of loads of different clips because my PS4 is actually being really weird. I'm not sure if any of you have actually experienced this, but when you're trying to record a video and even though you've set the maximum time for 15 minutes and you double click the share button, it still does only like two or three minutes or even the last 30 seconds of the gameplay. Um, you'd see it later on in the video. There's a, I tried to get some content of the the armored train. That's when, so for example, on the other maps would be the big blimp. But for this map, it's the armored train. And this was actually the first match where our team was actually losing so much to the point where we actually got the train. So I tried to get some gameplay and it only recorded like the last 10 seconds of the match and it was literally just me moving the train forward and backwards so I didn't get a very good gameplay I am still gonna try and get more gameplay I'm gonna try and stream and try and get some more for you guys so now let's talk about that theme tune that you just heard in the intro so that is the official Battlefield 1 theme tune if any of you guys played any of the old Battlefield games so any of the games before Battlefield 3 you'd kind of realise the kind of trend that's going on. It does sound very familiar to, you know, the 1942 kind of theme, you know, the older Battlefield themes, and to be honest, quite a lot of people are happy with that. Uh, personally, I didn't play the older Battlefields that much. I did play, you know, uh, Battlefield Bad Company and Battlefield Bad Company 2, but I didn't really play 1942 and stuff like that. Back then, that was still when COD was the more dominant game, and... I think I was a bit too young, so I was a bit too young to play COD back then, but I also think I was a bit too young, way too young to understand Battlefield. But I think I quite like it, quite a lot of people like it. It is definitely a change from the whole digital stuff we're used to. We had more of a dubstep-ish, maybe, for Battlefield 4. I think Battlefield 3, I, I quite liked Battlefield 3, it was more electronic. Battlefield 4 felt more... Deep bay. I don't know. I'm not very good with music, but I didn't like Battlefield 4's theme compared to Battlefield 3's. So now let's move on to my thoughts on the beta. So of course this is just a beta. It's not you know it's not the whole actual representation of the game. And sadly, I th I really do hope they do this. Um, but sadly, right now it's only one map, and that's the Sinai Desert, or I think it's called Sinai Desert map. Um, However, with the alpha is St. Quentin Scar, and in my opinion, I actually quite liked St. Quentin Scar over um, the desert map. Um, I felt that the desert map is, if any of you played um, Battlefield 3, Bandar Desert, um, ba Battlefield 3 on PS3 or the Xbox 360, Armored Kill was horrible. It was 16v16, the maps were huge, and there was just no one to find. And with this with this map, I honestly feel that's what it's like. You'll even be able to see in the gameplay. You'll just see me running for a good couple of minutes just to get from one object to the to the other. And that's okay. That's probably more on the extreme side. That's, for example, A flag to E flag or any flag to E flag. It's just so far away. I think they need to either a few moments later uh, reduce that gap, get rid of that flag altogether, or just do something about it because without a vehicle, it honestly ruins it. I ran for, yeah, a good, you know, couple of minutes just to get taken out by a dive bomber. So yeah, I do really hope they do something about that flag. And also, yeah, like I said at the beginning of this point, I really do hope they add St. Quentin Scott as another map to play in the beta, because there's actually varying play styles in, in the two different maps. Uh, me being used to the alpha, I've had to adjust my play style for the beta, and I think there's not too much has changed from the alpha, but stuff like weapon unlocks, um, I'm pretty sure they didn't have class ranks before. They didn't give you stuff like the um, the launcher with the assault class, so that's a launcher you need to be prone to use. They didn't give you that um, in the beta as a default. You'd actually have to be level at least level 1 to unlock that, and that means using the assault class quite a lot. So personally, I don't really like using the assault class. The assault class is what has the submachine guns with it and all the anti-tank stuff. So personally, because it's a World War One game, I don't actually, yeah, I don't like to use uh, semi-automatic stuff. Yes, they did have a few semi-automatic rifles, but apparently I'm not too good with my World War One knowledge. A lot of it was still, you know, testing, unreliable, all of that. So also with what they've done in Battlefield 1 as well, 
the submachine gun, the spread is really weird. The recoil pattern, everything is really weird. It's more sporadic. It's more something you'd find on a COD game. And it's not DICE being lazy. They've actually done this on purpose. But it's not something I can, for example, it, on Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, if you tap fired a submachine gun, you would be able to partially hit your target accurately. On Battlefield 1, apparently it gets more stable as you fully automatic fire. So yes, I tend to actually use the medic class. This is because it kind of suits my playstyle more, so I like to more push the objective, especially if I'm playing by myself, so you know, not with friends or a mic. I like to push the objective much more, I'm more of a an aggressive player so I do take a lot of hits so you know healing myself is you know a really big asset also I feel that even though in the gameplay I'm you know wasting you know a full mag of, of shots but I actually like the feel of the semi-auto rifles I feel that I've got more control I feel that it packs more of a punch um, than me using a semi-auto rifle and yeah so I personally always go for the medic class I've rarely used the support and occasionally used the recon. Again, I'm not too great at sniping, so I kind of tend to steer away from it. I think on Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, I could just about hold my own in the sniping. But with Battlefield 1, I kind of leave it more, more to the pros, more to the people that know what they're doing than, you know, me trying to just, just really sit there and not really do much for the team. As you'll see when I spawn on someone here on Rush, that they're just kind of away from the objective. Um, however, they're not, they're not actually helping. They're, they're not actually taking anyone out. If you see them on the scoreboard, they're you know quite far down. I mean, it's yeah, it's all good and well, you're trying to practice sniping and whatnot, but you're not really participating. You're not really helping the team out. And I mean, that's the way I see it. You know, sometimes if you're a good sniper, you know, snipe, help, you know, run over. But yeah, so that was just some some of my quick thoughts on the beta. So far, you know, fairly positive. Well, you know, mostly positive. It's a Battlefield game. DICE have worked very hard on this. I did plan for this video to be like five minutes. And I did try to record the start of the intro like ten times. But it turns out when, you know, when you sit down recording, you kind of get into the flow of things and you don't want to stop talking. So yeah, I've tried to make this quick. I will try and do more of an in-depth one when you know the beta comes to an end uh, try and get some more good gameplay hopefully my PS4 sorts itself out and I'm definitely gonna get the game so you know you can expect more proper gameplay hopefully when the game actually comes out you do get more of the skilled players more of the players that actually know or want to know how to play the game because they've had to you know fork out 40 quid for it so you know I'm looking forward to that so yeah I hope you have enjoyed the video and as I forgot to say in my last video Prime out.